Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into the 2022 Ford Mustang. Now this is going to be a bit of a longer video than we typically do here on, uh, on the channel, but uh, I want to go on a little bit of a deeper dive into the Ford Mustang model and go into a little bit more of the, of the uh, specifics as well. And as a tester, we're going to be using this 2022 Ford Mustang GT Premium model with the performance package. Now, as I mentioned, this specific Mustang is a GT model, meaning it does have the 5 liter V8 engine. Now, for 2022, this Mustang, or this engine, I should say, uh, makes 450 horsepower and around 420 foot-pounds of torque. Now, you can also get a EcoBoost model Mustang. It's a 2.3 liter uh, turbo EcoBoost four-cylinder. That one makes about 310 horsepower, about 350 foot-pounds of torque. You can also get a high performance version, which is a high output version of that engine. That makes about 330 horsepower and about 350 foot-pounds of torque. Now both of these engines can be made into either a manual or an automatic transmission. In this case, we do have a six-speed manual. It's a Ford six-speed manual. If you get the Mach 1, the Mustang Mach 1, you actually do get a Tremec, a Tremec unit. It's a Tremec 3160 a six-speed manual, which is uh, out of the GT350. Um, but for the regular Mustangs, we do get a Ford uh, manual transmission or a Ford 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, both of these engines are cast aluminum. So it's a cast aluminum block with the, uh, the 2.3 liter. does have a, uh, just a direct injection, while the 5 liter is also direct and port injection as well. Now, these engines are made in a couple of different places. Uh, the 5 liter is made uh, at the Windsor Essex plant, the engine plant, and the, uh, the 2.3 liter, the EcoBoost Mustang, it's made actually in a couple of different places. There's the, uh, it's made in the Cleveland engine plant for the standard and the high performance one is made at the, uh, the Valencia engine plant. Now all Mustang models are unibody construction and they're also uh, mostly steel, although the hood and the fenders are actually aluminum and on the GT500, the hood and the fenders are SMC. So it's a sheet molding compound. And some of them are, are available, uh, some of the versions are available with a convertible as well. Now this particular one is the Fastback Coupe, but you can get the, uh, the base EcoBoost as well as the base Mustang in a convertible. And they are all also a front engine with rear wheel drive. So there's no all wheel drive version or front wheel drive version of the Mustang. Now I did talk briefly about transmissions, um, but I'll go into a little more detail. So you can get the automatic or the manual uh, in both the GT and the EcoBoost trim levels as well as the, uh, the Mach 1 only gets the Tremec TR3160 transmission. It's a six-speed manual transmission. Now both the six-speed manual for the regular Mustang uh, and the GT can, are all Ford made, so they're Ford transmissions. Now the GT500 does get a completely different system. It's a Tremec TR9070. It's a seven-speed dual clutch automatic that's only offered in the GT500 trim level. Now in terms of final drive ratios, the EcoBoost can go from about a 315 to 1 to a 355 to 1. And the GT model goes from a 331 to a 373. Again, depending on what trim level you get, this specific one does have the 373 because it is a performance package with the manual transmission. And if you get the automatic, you do get a 355 uh, final drive, drive ratio as well. Now in terms of wheels and wheel sizes, uh, they range quite a bit, so I'll just kind of go over some standard wheels. Uh, the EcoBoost does have a standard with the base wheel. It's a 17 by 7.5 wheel, and then the GT comes standard with an 18 by 8, and you can also option in the performance package. So this performance package does have a 19, a 19 inch wheel. So it's a 19 by 8.5 uh, in the, or sorry, 19 by 9 in the front, and then a 19 by 9.5 in the rear. Now, of course, the GT500 does get a completely different setup. Uh, that one you can have the optional uh, track package, the carbon fiber track package. So you do get larger 20 inch wheels, say 20 by 11 and a 20 by 11 and a half. Now in terms of brakes, there are quite a bit of different options uh, for the Mustang. Now starting with the Mustang EcoBoost, the base Mustang EcoBoost. That is a 320 millimeter, 320 millimeter uh, brake uh, system. It's a four, four piston brake system. Now if you get the uh, GT model, which this one is. The uh, base GT gets a 352 uh, millimeter brake. It's a four piston brake. Now this one does have the performance package. Um, so you do get a larger brake. It's a Brembo six piston 
It's a 380 millimeter. Now the uh, GT500 gets a huge upgrade. That's a, again a six piston, but it's a 420 millimeter uh, rotor. Now in terms of rear brakes, uh, they're all mostly the same on the standard Mustangs, although the GT500 does get a larger uh, 370 millimeter instead of their standard 320 on the, on the regular Mustang models. Now I do want to get a quick walk around, uh, around this specific Mustang here. Um, now starting with the lights, we do get full LED headlights across all Mustang models. And we do also have the turn signal down here, as well as the fog light right there. Now because this is a GT model, GTs actually get an extra support here in the grill. Um, that's how it's one way you can distinguish a GT from a EcoBoost model is the, the EcoBoost don't have this extra, these extra struts in the grill. We do get a nice pony logo right there in the front. We also do get functional uh, heat extractors in the hood. Again, the hood is aluminum, and that's standard on all Mustang models there. Again, this is a five liter GT model, so you do get a five liter badge right there on the side. Again, here's another look at these 19 inch performance pack wheels with the Brembo six piston brakes. Now the, the uh, performance package does get a summer only tire, so it's a Prelli P0 tire. 255 in the front and a 275 in the rear. Now we'll give you a look at the window sticker on this particular Mustang. So again, we do have the 2022 uh, GT Coupe Premium, five liter with the six speed manual. And this was finished in rapid red metallic. It's a tinted clear coat. There's a 400A, so it's actually not a top of the line. You can get a 401A, which does include some things like the, the digital gauge cluster and uh, a lot more safety features and stuff. But again, we do have the performance package, which is about a $6,500 option. Uh, these prices are in Canadian dollars, just keep that in mind. And we do have the Ford Safe and Smart package, as well as the Magna Ride damping system. And again, this one brings it about just over 65,000. Now new for 2022, you can actually option in a spoiler delete. So when you get the performance package, you do get a performance rear wing. Uh, you can option in a delete if you'd like, and this specific one does have it, so there is no rear wing back here. Gives it a little bit of a cleaner look. And again, we do have the Mustang Signature sequential LED taillights as well. And this one again does have the active valve performance exhaust, so it's a four mode a uh, valved exhaust system, optional on all Mustang models. And this is also your reverse light down there. We do get a little bit of a diffuser down there as well. And they all obviously come with reverse cameras, which a nice GT badge there right on the back. Now in terms of dimensions, uh, they're all pretty much the same across all Mustang models. In terms of length and width, uh, the GT500 model does get slightly bigger dimensions. They're also a little bit wider as well. Um, in terms of weight, uh, curb weight, they go from about 3,500 pounds to about 4,200 pounds on the GT500. This specific one here is about 3,700 3, pounds here as the uh, fastback with the manual transmission. Now I did want to show you the inside uh, of this Mustang. Um, all Mustang models do come with push button start. Now we'll show you the key to this specific Mustang. They all have the same key, it's a uh, Ford's Intelligent access key fob, uh, so you do get the uh, trunk release there. Now if you had the automatic transmission, you do get remote start as well. So you hear that five liter certainly come to life. So starting here on the door panel, you do have the uh, power window controls. And if you get the convertible, you actually do get a little separate window switch for the, the half window in the back. Your power mirrors, as well as your power locks right there. And you get your light controls on the side with your fog lights and your dash dimming lights right there. And uh, we do get a nice leather wrap steering wheel as well. You get your phone, your uh, audio buttons, as well as your adaptive cruise control. This one does have the Ford safe and smart package. So we do get adaptive cruise control as well as built-in navigation. And we do have controls for your center gauge cluster screen there, as well as some of your phone uh, buttons right there. Now, most Mustang models do come with this standard gauge cluster where you get the tachometer as well as your speedometer and a small screen in the middle. 
Although if you do option in the premium package with the, uh, the high package, you do get a digital gauge cluster. Uh, this specific one, again, doesn't have that, but you can option that in if you'd like. Now we can use these buttons on the right here to scroll through various things in this gauge, uh, in this gauge cluster. So we can uh, so we're in the main menu here and you can scroll through gauge mode. Well, this will give you a whole bunch of stuff. This is gauge detail. So we get a whole bunch of temperatures and measurements. You also have your distance to empty, speedometer, tire pressures, or you can go to trip and fuel. A few trips one and two, as well as your fuel economy. You also have track apps. This is pretty cool and it's unique to Mustang. So you can go into here, you can view your status. So this will tell you what drive mode you're in, your launch control, your exhaust mode, steering modes, all of that. We also have an accelerometer. So this is a G meter. It'll measure G performance. We also have an acceleration timer. So you can go in here and it'll give you a, a zero to 50, zero to 100, or uh, lots of other stuff. There's also the same thing for brake performance. We also do have a line lock system. Now, if you're not familiar with line lock, this basically helps you do a burnout. Uh, so if you're at a drag strip, now you can do a, you usually do a burnout to warm up the tires, so you can use this, and it locks the front tires and allows you to do a burnout. Also do have a lap timer, so we can set a lap timer. Also I do have launch control, we can set the RPM from 3000 all the way to 5500. You can turn the system on or off like that. We also do have active rev matching with this six speed manual transmission. You can view some of your results as well. Here we go into driver assist. We have some of your driver assistance features. Max idle, blind spot, driver alert, pre-collision assist, cross traffic alert, hill start assist, lane keep system. Lots of good stuff in there. And in these settings, you will find your exhaust mode. So this one does have the active valve exhaust. So you can set your exhaust mode from quiet all the way to track. It'll give you a little warning there just to say track use only. You can also set a quiet start. This is helpful if you uh, leave early in the morning, you don't want to wake up the neighbors. You can actually schedule a quiet start. I'm just going to put it back into quiet just because we are inside. We have other vehicle settings in here, some of your lighting systems. We also have a my color. Now, this is pretty neat and again unique to Mustangs. So you actually change the color of the gauges. And it'll also change the color of those gauges there. You also set your own color. And here you can go through and you can set your own color. You also change the color of the halo, which is the little ring around the gauges. It's pretty neat. And again, you can set your own color for that. We also have the ambient light. You can change the color of the ambient lighting which goes in the foot wells and in the door handles and uh, a few other sp uh, spots. And you can, this is where you set your my color. So you can go through and you can change individual uh, RGB colors. And again, we have my key. My key is pretty cool as well. We also have some display setup options in there. Now base Mustang models do get a small little sync. Uh, it's a little like three inch display. Um, you can option in a Sync 4 8 inch touchscreen display, which I would recommend because the screen is pretty, uh, pretty good. The screen, Ford did a fantastic job with this screen. Um, it's very intuitive, very, very responsive. Um, you have a home screen here. We can view your navigation as well as your radio and your phone. Or you can go into audio. You can change your Sirius XM radio or your Bluetooth. You also do have a digital version of the climate control. There's also a physical buttons down here if you prefer that. We also have phone settings is where you add in your Bluetooth phone. And again, we do get built-in navigation with the Ford Safe and Smart package. We do have various apps uh, like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as various settings in here as well. Display settings. We also do a Ford Pass Connect, which does you allow uh, allows you to start remote start as well as lock and unlock the car from anywhere in the world. Uh, obviously, we can't remote start because we do have the manual. Um, but if you had the automatic, you could. We have valet mode as well. Now the performance pack does come with these extra two gauges up here. So you get oil pressure as well as the vacuum gauge right there. Again, unique to the performance pack Mustang. And we do get the automatic dual zone climate control with heated and cooled seats. Uh, this specific Mustang does have the standard bucket seats. 
Now, if you option in the Recaro bucket seats, you do actually lose the heated and the cooled function, as well as they're fully manual operated. These ones are fully power. So you do kind of lose a lot of uh, features and, and uh, comfort with the Recaro seat. And moving down again, standard push button start across all Mustang models. Also do have your hazard lights, your trash control button there, as well as steering mode. So you can actually change the steering mode. This is standard on all Mustang models. You can go through and change it to normal, sport or comfort. And then we do have your drive mode select. Again, this is pretty neat. You can go through and go normal, sport plus, track. You also have drag strip and snow and wet. And it will automatically change the exhaust mode uh, for that specific drive mode as well. And if you did have the digital gauge cluster, the 12 inch uh, my color display, it'll actually change the gauge cluster uh, for that drive mode as well. Again, our six speed manual transmission. You do get a manual parking brake on all Mustang models as well. Now, most Mustang models do come with back seats. Um, it's only two back seats. You don't, you don't get five uh, seating capacity in this. It's only a four, um, but I mean, there's not a lot of space in the back seat. Um, so usually you don't put people back here and you, know, you could throw some groceries back here, or maybe fit a small child. But if you do get the carbon fiber track pack on the GT500, you do actually get a rear seat delete. Um, but that's only for the GT500. All regular Mustang models do get back seats. Now step around back to the trunk area. Now if you were to get the Bang & Olufsen uh, sound system, the premium sound system, you do actually get an external subwoofer right on the side here. So you do lose some of the space right here. It kind of just sits right here and you lose that corner. Um, but we do get a fix a flat kit. You can option in a spare tire. It's like a mini little donut tire. But we do get a compressor right there. And again, there's actually a lot of space back here as well. So that pretty much wraps up this video here. I just want to give a little bit of a longer walk around because um, there was a lot to know about the Mustang model. Uh, but if you're interested in this particular Mustang, it actually is for sale uh, here at McPhee Ford. Uh, but thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.